Spent the day pulling apart hives that didn't make it. And now what we're going to do is just take a peek and see what's going on with this hive. I have a feeder shim on the top here to give them fondant for late in the, uh, in the spring and I want to get that off. And I'm just going to do a quick peek with Bob here to see whether or not we got brood and what's going on. Chances are we do have brood because we're seeing pollen go in, but first inspection of the year, here we go. All the food is gone, as expected. This is the feeder shim that I had on here. The good news is they didn't build anything down from it. I'm gonna remove the brood minder. I'm gonna change the batteries. I was no good. Didn't get them set up before we left, so. This is a TH, which means it's temperature and humidity. That's all that's left of the plate of food. I see quite a few bees in here, like it's loaded. So let's count them, Kevin. We've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full frames of bees, maybe eight and a half. Yep. Okay, shall we? Yep. Let's take a look. Give me a little smoke in the top here. frame has uh, stuff sticking out on the top. I don't know if this one to do it for. This is going to scrape off. Well, you know the drone brood on this one. That's what you want to see. And to the outside, wow, look at all the drone on this side, Cap. Yeah. Cap drone. So do we have brood? Oh, yes, we do. That's all drone brood. You could see by the bullet. And you could also see the larva in there. So. No doubt this queen has just been doing her thing. This is swarm season, promissory note right there. Once you see that, you know you're good to go. Carpet of brood. That's all I really need to see. This time of year, if I see that, I obviously know that I have a working queen. And it's time to start considering putting boxes on top. Because this hive will be absolutely loaded with population in short order. Another full frame of cat brood. Let's just look at one more. See what we got. This is where the brood chamber is, it looks like. Yeah, I like to count the frames, so maybe we'll just peek in. I want to pull that. Oh, that next frame's got to go. More brood. Quick scan for the queen. Not on this face. There's eggs in every single cell. As I look down in the, into the comb from the sun. No queen here. Get the honey. Nectar, this whole side is nectar. Yeah, that frame has to go, that next one. Don't like this frame at all. I'm literally gonna pull it out. We have spare sitting over here that we could swap in. What a festering yucky mess. We'll melt this down. 
I'm going to shake the bees off into the hive and we'll add a replacement. Shame on us for letting it be in there. You know, one of the things I've done earlier when we pulled all the other hives apart is mm -hmm. cull frames like this. Just pull them out and put good frames in. So we're going to do that right now with this frame. I've noticed on this frame that I see absolutely brand new bees. They're downy, they're yellow, they're not hard. They've literally just emerged probably within the hour. There's one right here. I doubt you could see it, but that bee is like light yellow in color and soft. And she is brand new. She has not hardened off yet. So. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's all we need to see, don't we? Yeah, we got another one that looks a little funky. I don't know if you like this frame or not. Mm, I think it's okay for now. Okay. We'll Let's leave it in there. Leave it in there. You can call it some other time. Let's see. I'm going to lose a couple drones. I really don't care. It's no big deal. There's drone lane all the way in there. I don't know if we see that. Let's see if we can get that on the camera. You could see the glistening provision of food for them. And they're just not capped yet in their varying ages. But they're all drone. You could tell by the size of the cell how big they are. And the fact that these are bullets. have the same thing on this side. It's not going to hurt the hive at this point, so I think we're okay. Right, you want nine frames, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not super fussy about it, so... This one has nine. It's a nice army green pollen right there and some bright yellow pollen coming in. Let's put this back where oh, you've got, got it. Ten. Okay. That was that was all the way the outside. It was number two. Yeah. Curious, you mind if we just take a peek in that bottom box and see? I think the bees are in both boxes. Which means there's probably more brood down below. That is sting number one for 2019. There's the stinger. And you can see this bee is unhappy because she could smell the pheromones. So let me scrape it out. I have my rite of passage for 2019. <laughs> Did you center him? That's what I was doing. Yeah. Well, I, okay. pushed, yeah, I pushed him all into the middle because he got 10 on What are you going to do? I just want to... See, Wait, see, they're both, in, they're in both boxes, I think. That's why I think there's probably brood down here, too. I'm not sure. Oh, did, you, did you get the brood in there? You did. It fell on the ground there. Just a quick peek. We don't need to pull probably more than one frame. Let's get this one right here. We wanted to see if we had brood in the bottom. This is a food frame, it's got pollen in it. Just a touch of nectar here and there. But it's a food frame. Yeah, I know. Let me tell him on the camera. Let's go ahead and space 
So we made a quick observation that the bottom hive does not have any brood in it. And if you think about the way swarming works and the traditional bees build up, there's a technique you could do in the spring called reversal, where you take the brood and center it all on the bottom over the bottom board. There's more than enough bees in this box to keep them warm so when we put them down and they're near the entrance and the cold air is coming in they'll be okay. So we're going to do that. It'll help relieve a little bit of pressure and we'll be able to uh, put some additional boxes on this later. So what we're literally going to do is take the bottom box off the bottom board, put it aside, put the box that was on top on the bottom board and then put the other one on top. Obvious. You, you pull that one and I'll put this one on. Oh, we should clean off the bottom board while we're at it. Yeah. yeah. Try it off. You can put that on there if you want. Take a quick look. It's like a lot of the uh, bonded. Oh, well, it looks like paper. Yeah, it's all the paper. paper. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so what we found is the debris from the paper plate that was on there to feed the bees. They've chewed it all up and it's just a powder on the bottom board. So before we put the box on, we're going to clean it off. We're seeing golden yellow pollen come in. Earlier, about two weeks ago, it was like a cream color, like the color of straw. And now we've seen a change, and the pollen coming in is, mm, I want to say, sunflower gold. So we're, we're seeing a change of food in the early season. He's doing a good job over there. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just trying to save the bees some work. <laughs> Let's put the big entrance here. You might note the different surface of this hive. This is an Evans cedar hive. Uh, Evans sold his hives out of southern New Jersey. I'm not sure if he's in business or not, still selling these, but let me clean these off before you do it. But hence the, hence the color and substrate of the box. All right, so we'll put the hive back together and thanks for watching.